So my dark Solid. horse is coming along. All right, folks, this is it. This is the main event here. This is the thing that we've all been waiting for, our men's final here in St. Paul. Look at this lineup, Scott Croxall, Cameron Nas. They've had battles before. There we see Michael Julianello, otherwise known as Iggy. The digital camouflage has been helping him all day long today. Good starts for him. How will he do against the battle-hardened guys that are in this heat with him? Right next to Iggy, we have Marco DeLago, a former world champion. He knows what it takes to win. Can he do it again here in St. Paul? Only time will tell, about 38 seconds, I believe. Then we have the two-time world champion, Cameron Nas. He wants to have three. Unbelievable. This guy is an incredible talent with tons of skill. And on the skill side, Scott Croxall. It took him a long time to get that world championship title. The monkey was off his back one year, and he took it, and he's been solid ever since. This is going to be a fantastic final. Here we go. Explosive out of the gate. All four of these guys. Cameron Nas with a solid start. Scott Croxall right there with him. Here comes Marco DeLago trying hard on the inside. He and Nas, or no, excuse me, he and Croxall get tangled up. And Croxall goes down, moving back to third place. Julianello right behind Cameron Nas. He's got a very strong glider in Scott Croxall coming hard. And look at the pass by Croxall. Nas is down. Nas goes down. Croxall takes the Iggy's lead. down. Here comes Croxall's Marco down. DeLago. Marco it's comes a in big the battle to the finish. It's going to be Marco DeLago. Michael Julianello and Scott Croxall holding his arm. It looks like he hurt himself. What an unbelievable heat that was. A major mistake by Cameron Noss. Cost him the win here in St. Paul as he had all this locked down and just fell over the Dino Bridge. Marco DeLago, he has been solid and he is in such good shape. What a great race and Iggy, oh my goodness. What a fantastic heat for him. A second place for Michael Julianello in the final. That's definitely his best result ever. Let's look at this again. This is definitely one of the best finals ever. Nas has a great start, comes in right on shoulder to shoulder with DeLago. Everybody takes the jump real clean. Look at this, just beautiful. Now Scotty comes in a really nice position, blocking out Marco, but Marco keeps his speed really nice over this corner, and they all kind of go down in chaos. Now it's all Iggy and Nas pushing on. From here, I thought that's the way this race was going to end. Nas and Iggy, but these guys in back don't quit. Scott Croxall is so strong. Just a fantastic skater, and his ability to glide is just incredible. Oh, he made an unreal comeback here. Scotty is never out of it. He's such a good skater, such a good glider, like you said. Watch him come down this final stretch, just pushing, striding the whole way. And I thought he had it, and then the chaos ensued. Let's just watch it here, because it is something to behold. Now, this is where guys know they have to push hard. With this crew behind you, the dyno is the thorn in everybody's side. Oh. Nas catches his foot. Scotty takes it a little too far, but it holds his own. Now this is where Iggy hits the boards. Scott takes it a little wide. Nas is clawing up. And then let's watch over this other hip here. I want to see what happened to Scott though. And Iggy goes down. Oh yeah, Scotty Scott hits, hits the that boards. board hard. And look at the excitement by the crowd. They are freaking out. One more look at it here. Scott, yeah, he just sailed a little bit wide. Iggy comes in hot on his hip. And Marco DeLago. Wow. Oh, yeah, Scott's arm got the worst of that one, his right arm. Iggy, a second place. Scott Croxall, I hope he's okay. What an amazing race, though. And there is our starter, Marco DeLago, right now down in the finish line with Bree McShane. Marco, congratulations. It looks like you didn't, you weren't even in it, and then at the last minute you cinched the win. How did you do it? You know, it reminds me a little bit on last year 
also caught up from last place all the way to second. I want to give a huge credit to the other riders. They deserve to win. They crashed, so I take it, but it's, you know, it is what it is. I, I want to say thanks to the guys from Red Bull, Hangman and AST to make this happen. This is insane. Last time you won this race was 2014 when you won the World Championship. Can we see you do it again this season? Uh, you know, I'm, I took this summer a lot more focus on the preparation and I feel very good. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. We had a good work uh, at home with our team from the NLZ Steiermark. It was just awesome and now it's the first race with a victory and yeah. Congratulations, enjoy the celebrations. Well, that was an incredible race there at the end. Marco De Lago taking the first win of the big event season at the Red Bull crashed ice here in St. Paul. And we saw a really heavy crash by Scott Croxall in the wall. Hope he's okay. Really nice to see Michael Giulianello coming in there hot and heavy for a second place. And that's a fantastic result for him. That's cool. Yeah, he's our biggest up and comer. We talked about him earlier. He told me he trained his bum off all year, looking super solid. Two finals in a row for him. Marco, same thing, two finals in a row. This is awesome to see different guys moving in and out of the top. You know, Cam Nas, a dominant force. Scott Croxel, a dominant force. But we got new blood coming in and out. Great for the sport, great for the race. Absolutely, and it makes it so much more exciting for us and our audience that's watching on TV around the world. It's an amazing result here. Um, you know, nobody likes to see the other guys lose, but there's always got to be a winner and a loser in this case. And there you go, that's our winner here today, Marco Delago. Been a while since we've seen him here. Remember the year, was it 2014? That's took right. Three. Yeah, three out of four by virtue of his incredible starts. And, you know, I imagine in this case, uh, Marco is going to be celebrating this one on behalf of both the brothers, seeing as his brother Luca was eliminated so early on in the competition. Absolutely. Luca is somebody I also thought would be here, semi-final. Um, we're going to look a lot for him this year coming on strong with Marco. They train together. They're really equal riders. Marco just got the luckier breaks today. <laughs> yeah, I think he's even a little bit surprised, but you know he's been doing a good job, and I'm really happy to see him there. And now it sounds to me like uh, Bree is with Cam Nas. Cameron, you just missed out. How was that for you? Uh, race great all night. Uh, I had a great final there. Marco had great starts all night, so my main priority in that final was just to get out in front of him. And after I did that, I knew I just had to get on my wheels and try to get ahead. But uh, yeah, just a stupid mistake and shouldn't be something that I'm doing. But at least you've still won with the crowd. Who have you got here watching? Yeah, all my friends and family. Sorry if I let you down, but great event. Thank you for coming out. And St. Paul, another amazing event. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Cameron. Thanks.